Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be uh, talking about the June 5th, 2020 lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. Now, basic meaning for those of you that may not know, as far as or as, uh, lunar eclipse goes in astrology, it's basically like an amplified. It's an amplified or intensified full moon. Uh, it's like a regular full moon, but again, it's more intensified, more powerful, and amplified. And you could have events that could be very prodigious, that could be life-altering on it. And the effects of a lunar eclipse can be more sustained and more protracted than a regular full moon. There could be a very uh, powerful, unrestrained, uninhibited emotional expression. Uh, what may have been suppressed for a very long time may finally uh, come out at this time and given that it's in Sagittarius it might be I mean these emotions I mean Sagittarius can be a hot tempered a zodiac sign and these emotions could be very fiery and, and what's let out it could be to the point where it might demoralize or demean somebody it might really embarrass people because the Sagittarius energy of course could be very blunt and very tactless so if something's been bothering somebody for a long time if their freedom was inhibited or whatever it may be this is where uh, the time may come where finally that those emotions come out connected with that and, uh, and can be unleashed and it's really gonna and might be very bad news for the person that's on uh, the receiving end uh, of this and the thing about and, and it could be a thing where maybe a lot of people might feel like that they're her, that as far as expanding their horizons that may have been inhibited by a certain uh, by a certain individual or situation and this could be the time where it's really where somebody might become very tired and exasperated and full of this so to speak now you're talking about lunar eclipses in uh, astrology I mean this could be this could I mean this particular one can affect all signs uh, collectively as they as all lunar eclipses may but especially people uh, that have the Sun moon or ascendant in Sagittarius or the zodiac sign cancer now Sagittarius of course because it's in their own sign and cancer of course because the moon does govern and rule cancer and the zodiac sign cancer can simply be impacted and affected strongly by all transits and phases of the moon and this could be strongly attributed to why cancer can be so moody temperamental and fickle now of course this could be very intensified if this transit makes a conjunction to one's uh, sagittarius sun moon or ascendant the ascendant it could be something very powerful perhaps with the physical body in some cases it could be something connected with the hips or the sciatica uh, or, or something with the liver something Sagittarius related and it could be a very strong ending uh, for Sagittarius it might be set for a Sagittarius rising person but it may uh, remember that lunar eclipses can also signify uh, some uh, new beginning uh, as well so anyway uh, it could also be a time too where when you look at a lunar eclipses in astrology again they're like amp they're at basically amplified or intensified full moons there could be greater uh, propensity and proclivity for accidents on a, on a lunar eclipse. Uh, it could be, given that it's in Sagittarius, it may be something that could be uh, very, uh, due to some recklessness, reckless driving, something foolhardy. Uh, it could be from just having a, being very self-righteous or something very risk-taking. So, I mean, and it's not, and I don't see this as limited to car accidents. I mean, you do seem to have, there may be more car accidents on a full moon more than many other days. But the thing about it is I could say more of a propensity for other accidents. It could be on a bicycle. If someone's trying to you know, ride with, you know, one hand or doing a, or, or doing a handstand on a, on a motorcycle while somebody else is driving it may be very ill-advised I think it's ill-advised anyway at this time but remember when you're talking about full moons you have this the emotions are in full throttle and high gear and the feelings are in full throttle Sagittarius energy could be very exuberant and enthusiastic I mean and and Sagittarius energy could also be very audacious and risk-taking I mean try not to do a 
uh, I don't forget his name. His name is Walenda. Last name Walenda. He was somebody that did uh, the tightrope over the Grand Canyon with no netting. I mean, we don't want to necessarily, I mean, those are things that are inadvisable anyway, but people may be more inclined to do something like this and when you're talking about a transit like this. Now, anyway, well, lunar, full moon lunar eclipses can also signify the end or the culmination of something. Now, this could be something associated uh, like for, uh, with publishing, given it's Sagittarius, so maybe something with publishing comes to an end or a completion, something associated with sports or the law, or even it could be uh, reckless behavior in some cases. The thing about this is, too, um, I mean, they, this could be, you're talking about right now, people, many of you, I mean, of course, are cognizant and aware of the coronavirus pandemic that's going around and it's inhibited a lot of sports activity. Now a theory I have how this may manifest at this time uh, in as far as America Major League Baseball I mean there's been some speculation that it may uh, it may resurface the the baseball season will actually well, I should say revive uh, sometime in the summer. Well, June 5th is like about two weeks before uh, the summer, and I'm thinking that maybe because Sagittarius energy is synonymous with sports, we might resume at least the exhibition season for baseball at this time there, because lunar eclipses can be major announcements, significant news, and this could be something of a lot of importance because it is a critical decision that can be made. This is something that's not just like regular uh, full moon energy. This is something that could be very prodigious, monumental uh, importance. And I could see where it may manifest in the announcement or you say unveiling of, of the something sports related. And considering it's the baseball season, it wouldn't shock me if there is an announcement pertaining to this at, at around this time, perhaps the right the spring season, uh, spring training may start, and then you're going to have the solar eclipse on, I believe it's the 20th or 21st of June, and that could signify perhaps the beginning of the regular season because being the solar eclipse being in Cancer, and at a critical degree, I believe zero degrees can give more significance to it. That's when the actual baseball season may begin, but this is, of course, speculation based on these transits. Now, another thing, too, is uh, it might be some important announcement pertaining to foreign travel at this time. As many of you may know, there's a lot of restrictions and stipulations regarding foreign travel. This is a time, too, where many people might become very tired, full, and exasperated at something it may be over tra foreign travel restrictions. I hope we don't have any riots at this time because this is going to be making a tight square to Mars in, uh, Mars in Pisces and Neptune in Pisces as well. But the Mars is what's more concerning to me because of course Mars is connected with anger. Mars in Pisces when, in, in, when it's in transit can suggest anger where it may, might even be unfounded, maybe it could be drug-fueled or it could be alcohol-fueled rage as well. So it's something to look at at this time. And the thing about it is um, another thing, too, that I noticed that as far as this goes, is going back to endings and culminations, this could also be an ending or culmination to many, uh, again, it could be over a belief that's been indoctrinated in somebody. It could be something that where somebody was over optimistic or over exuberant about. If this was set, say if this falls in the seventh house in one's natal chart, this could be something where a person might have been over optimistic or over exuberant regarding a relationship. Maybe this person had blinders on or was very naive about it and it's time to, to end something with that but and also maybe hope sadly might be eradicated in some situation it could also be a time where many may stop advertising their business 
to others remember that Sagittarius is connected with advertisement but of course I'm being like some really like metaphoric and that somewhat flippant hold on a moment people and also too this can be about where one might become very tired, full, exasperated at somebody. That might be overly blunt, tactless, or irresponsible, or unreliable. A person that's constantly speaking their veritable truth. It might be maybe over, maybe tired of having faith in something they don't need to be having faith in. I'm not talking about religion per se, but what I'm talking about just in, in a person or a situation. Or, or a person that might be just constantly being overly whimsical or laughing things up, laughing things off, or not taking something too seriously. And the difference between like this and a regular full moon that this could really be a be a time where we're we're being tired or full of something. What I just described in examples could lead to something that might be more life altering or it's a major it's more of a major decision which might lead to a breakup and a, and a connection or a relationship or what have you the thing about this is I understand there's going you're going to have I mean you'll have this um, I mean you're gonna have the solar eclipse just following I mean very uh, very shortly uh, following this so you're going to have two uh, two things back to back that are very of course very significant in terms of uh, in terms of its importance and how it might impact uh, and as far as how it might impact uh, somebody and you're also remember you're going to have another lunar eclipse in July that will be coming up afterwards so this may not be seen as something that's as significant as the typical lunar eclipse because you're going to have another one a month later but you have to remember a lunar eclipse still being a lunar eclipse can have can have a more amplified intensified impact still I would say at least in contrast to a regular uh, full moon now uh, another thing I noticed too and I talked before about maybe something with the revelation of something sports related at, at around this time of the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius on June 5th but there's also could be that what I noticed too is that there was something uh, remember that Sagittarius could be connected with foreign travel immigration foreigners they have a target date and I'm not sure what that means exactly if that's a tentative date or that's a date that they're trying to home in on but uh, the, some of you may have heard of USCIS, that's the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Uh, they, there was something online that stated there was going to be a reopening on June 4th, 2020. So, and that was the targeted date. It wouldn't surprise me if they opened the day later on June 5th, 2020, because that's the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. And of course, Sagittarius can be uh, connected with foreigners and immigration so I thought it was interesting that it coincides this target date coincides very closely with the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius so and uh, also it's important to look at the house it falls and as this could impact the delineation interpretation mine is going to fall in my seventh house they're pretty fairly close to my eighth house cusp so this could manifest for me becoming more cognizant in terms of expanding horizons and relationships of course that's the seventh house maybe even in matters with shared resources as well and of course that's the eighth house but anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time people edwin leonard saying stay well